YouTube family, how are y'all doing today? This is crazy, y'all. This Ryan Garcia situation is real. He's on a live stream on the Twitter space with Andrew Tate. And it is real, y'all. This is beyond real. This is as real as it can possibly get. So I don't know if y'all into conspiracies. He talks, supposedly he talks about the Bohemian Grove situation. You know, I don't know if y'all know anything about that. Check out Alex Jones at Bohemian Grove actually getting that on camera. Supposedly, you know, it's an occult. They do rituals there, a bunch of famous higher-ups. But anyway, let's just get right into this video, y'all, because he's supposedly talking about some stuff that could potentially threaten his life. And I know y'all know about Andrew Tate and how he, you know, quote unquote, chose not to be with the elites and how they sent them to jail because of it. And I'm pretty sure he talks a little bit about that. So let's get right into this video, y'all. Unmute your mic. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. Andrew Tate just had Ryan Garcia on his stream Twitter space and he went off about his recent situation and he's going on a tangent of tweets exposing everything talking about aliens, devils, everything when he's meant to be having a boxing fight with Devin Haney. I'm not sure what is going on with this guy. How this stream ended up happening when Andrew Tate seeded tweet mean? Haney. I'm not sure what he's talking about aliens, devils. Are you guys the crazy ones? Because I'm not lying. They are hurting kids and everyone is standing back telling me to shut up. I don't care anymore. I'm dying for innocent souls taken. They held me down and made me watch, of course. I've lost it a little. Man, he, he must... He must have just woke up and said, Man, I'm just choosing violence today. Devils, everything. When he's meant to be having a boxing fight with Devin Haney. I'm not sure what is going on with this guy. How this stream ended up happening when Andrew Tate he did tweets. He said, Ryan Garcia, I'll do a space so you can talk. And Ryan Garcia said, bro, please. And Ryan Garcia also said, okay, set up and bring Tristan, please. Andrew Tate said 20 minutes G and finally got him on a call. Well, the way it typically, typically works is with sponsorship contracts. So what they would do with someone like me, who's monumentally influential, they'd come along and say, we're going to pay you $50 million. And then in exchange for that money, you're going to support this company. But to make sure that that's, this company doesn't get in any trouble, make sure you don't bring any heat on this company. Your official positions on LGBT will be X. Your official positions on Israel-Palestine will be Y. And don't worry, we spend a lot of money with advertising spends with the media outlets. So the media outlets will never print anything bad about you because they cannot attack the poster child of the person who funds them. This I guess, I guess, in a way that makes sense as to why, uh, like, a lot of people be able to say certain things and they don't get in trouble for it, man. If they are setting up these contracts to where they force you to have these certain views and don't say bad things, I, I guess it makes sense, man. If they giving people these contracts, and it would make sense for them to for you to have consequences if you choose not to be a part of the group. You know, nobody hates somebody more than somebody that doesn't want to be a part of the group. You, you, I know y'all know, y'all, y'all have experienced that when you don't want to be a part of something and people get so angry or upset. So typically what they do is they try and get you to agree to these sponsorship contracts to neuter you. And once you've taken the money, you then are inner circle, Hollywood, Illuminati, whoever, whatever you want to call it which is why singers you've never heard of are at the Brit Awards or the Met Gala. And then the people on the internet who are free, who are far more famous than they are, these singers, nobody knows who they are, nobody cares, is not invited. We're not invited to those things. You would go, you'd go to an after party. At the after party, every single room would be bugged. There'd be cameras, there'd be microphones, as we can see in Diddy's lawsuit. Something haram will happen in the house. You'll be offered to do a bunch of bad things yourself, drugs, women, etc. Something bad will happen. Somehow you'll be linked as an accomplice to it. Someone will come to you and say, oh, look, this underage girl had sex with this guy in this room and you were only in the room next door. And if the police come, it's going to look bad on you. It's going to be all over the papers and you're going to be a sexual tra trafficker. But don't worry, because of this sponsorship, we're going to make sure it stays out in the media. We've got your back. Don't worry. See you at the next party. So then you're stuck. You have to be friends with these people or they've already semi-threatened you. And I can, I'll, I've said it right here, right now. The reason my matrix attack came is because I turned down a sponsorship contract. Mm. Whether they let me walk or throw me in a dungeon forever, we're going to find out. 
But that's how it goes. Because most people, when they're offered $50 million, take the $50 million. But I'm not going to dress free and condone a genocide for money. Ice Cube was just talking about, um, about how he doesn't want to be a part of the club and how people in the club get upset when you don't join the club. Y'all should go listen to what he's talking about, too. So he just got to put me in fucking jail, I guess. So as for what Ryan's saying, we're going to see his story. I'm going to keep chasing him up. And I'll unmute the mic again when he's online. Ryan, unmute your mic. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down, and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. He doesn't want to take us all, so let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on. He doesn't want to take no, us all. No, come on, fuck this guy. Dude. Oh, fuck this dude, dude. Come on, come on. Who? Who? Bro, you, do know you, you, know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is... Yeah, he's speaking to the right guy because Andrew Tate most definitely did get snatched up. And I ain't gonna lie, I was one of the guys that thought... I, I never thought that they would try to get him like they did and they did. Bro, the no, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these give... things. On... You have proof of this on your phone. Yes, of course I do. The fuck are you talking about? Of course, if Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to well, get my... you out of it? I can help. Well, bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, well, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. Oh. <laughs> tell us, what, tell everyone at home then. Start from the beginning. When did this happen? Where did this happen? What exactly did you see? Why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted? Let people at home understand you a little because bit. Because I don't give a fuck, bro. They raped me, right? I was two years old. They raped me. I have proof of that, too. That's where it all started, bro. Okay. You do know there's going to be certain people who believe, and I'm Ryan. You know I like you. We've been speaking for years. You know there's yeah. going to be people who believe you're just saying this because you've I don't know had a mental breakdown or taken drugs and you're repeating of course, some of, of the course. things you uh, said on the internet and the, guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you unless you come at it the very drug coherently. Test, Andrew, Andrew, I'll go to the fucking Romania and take a drug test in front of your face. Bro, you don't want to come here. <laughs> you, you don't need Romanian jail. It's bad for your fight camp. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're going to have to you're going to have to tell a far more, co more coherent story from start to finish for people to truly understand that Thanks. what you're saying happened is what you saw and that this is not some sort of episode or anything else. This is my. I agree because he is just coming out. He's just saying, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Every time you ask him what's going on, he just starts off with that. So I do agree with that, Ryan. You do got to be a little more transparent and help us understand exactly what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You, I understand you probably, he's probably going through a lot right now, especially what he's supposedly seen and what happened to him. He's probably going through a lot, but you got to calm down a little bit and talk to us. Advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it, if you want people to believe you, you're going to have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. Of course they're going to want that, and I have all the information possible. Okay, so when are you releasing it? How are you releasing it? Or are you keeping it for yourself? Because it looks like you don't want to keep it for yourself. I don't. At the right time, I'm going to release all of it, but 
at the right time I'm gonna do it. They're already calling me to tell me to stop. I don't give a fuck, dude. I've already had a meeting with them. Already? I'm gonna let you sit with that, Andrew. All right, bro. Well, y'all want to know that either way, I'm praying for you, and I hope that. Thank you, bro. You know, no, and, and I mean, I don't that, give absolutely. a fuck, bro. And Alex Jones has been singing the same shit, and they try to can't. The only reason they can't stop me because they listen to the devil. I listen to God. God gave me authority. It's over for everybody, bro. But I Alex is. Alex, Alex, they've painted, they've attempted to paint him as some psycho conspiracy theorist, even though he's not. So bro, when he says, over when he man, says things, when he says things, they're not as afraid of him releasing the truth because they feel like they've done a good job of brainwashing the Hey, average bro, out of respect for you, bro, out of respect for you, I love you. I'm going to hop off this, share it to the world, please. All right, Ryan. Ryan, I'll talk to you privately as well, okay? All right, bro. All right, bro. It's an interesting conversation. It's an interesting topic because we're discussing things that do happen and things like This is really sad to see because regardless if Ryan Garcia is exposing some home truths, he suffered with his mental health in the past and he still doesn't seem 100% stable with whatever he's going through right now. Uh, my cards are locked and I'm just being real. At some point, he was just getting weirder and weirder in his Instagram posts, and now he's taken to Twitter. And I want to find out more details on what's actually sent him into this dark place. I guess we'll find out soon, but I will keep you posted here on the Ryan Garcia situation as well, because it's absolutely crazy what's happening. This guy is meant to be going into one of the biggest fights of his life. Man, I hope that eventually he does come out and, and he has a more transparent explanation because I'm one of the people I have an open mind I most definitely believe it I wouldn't call myself a conspiracy theorist but I most definitely believe in the things that a lot of celebrities have talked about and you know a lot of the quote unquote conspiracy theories I most definitely believe this stuff to be true and I believe that he's probably receiving threats that none of us could imagine so I most definitely will continue to stay tapped in with this. I will continue to bring this type of content to y'all. I also have an um I also have a TikTok conspiracy video dropping. I'm gonna drop that because people people have been leaning towards the truth a lot lately, y'all. People really want to hear the truth now. This is, you know, we're going into the age of Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? The truth is coming out. The truth is coming out on a major scale. The world is changing. The world is nothing like it has ever been at this point in time, y'all. So, if you don't think that this stuff is true, all I gotta say is just open up your mind a little bit because the last thing that you want is to not have an open mind and then you find out that the stuff that you never thought was true is true and now you just don't even know how to react. You know, you don't want to be behind when it comes to this type of stuff. Always be one step ahead, y'all. But hopefully Andrew Tate gets through his situation he's going through. Hopefully Ryan Garcia. Hopefully nothing happens to him, man. And hopefully, hopefully some light can get shed on this situation. But I love y'all so much. Stay tuned. We'll be bringing more content. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll be right back with another video.